Hey Pectus Warriors, it's Riley Byrne from FixPectus.com. I'm super pumped up right now because I have refined all my programming into a new app, taken all the best bits, what's worked, the best client transformations, their programs, and put it all into this new package. And I'm super pumped. I'm following the program myself. I'm following the experience at home version. Uh, this is workout four for the week. This is a back and core day with some legs as well. Um, with my pectus programs, the focus is on pectus. So obviously today with back and core, it's really about posture. It's about opening up your chest, cores for the rib flare, the pot belly, and also for the anterior pelvic tilt posture position to help with that. But also, uh, the program won't neglect any muscles, so we're still training legs as well. I've got my uh, app here for the program ready to go. Dash shows me my things to do. I've, today I've got to do this workout and the stretching routine for today. Uh, I've got the Pectus Warriors group within this new app. It's awesome, guys. And you can try it for $1. Got a $1 trial promotion right now. So if you're keen, you've been thinking about my program for a while, now is the time. You get to try it all out, see what it's about, and see if it's something you want to commit to. And if you want to fix your pectus, it should be something you want to commit to. Let's get into the workout. That's what I'm going to show you today. So the first thing we're doing is chin-ups. All right, so in the app, it says three sets by AMRAP. So chin-ups, you want a full hang all the way up, chin over the bar. So first set done, I got, I did 11 reps. The RPE was seven to nine. So a seven RPE means I should have a, you know, a couple reps left in the tank, which is what I think it was. So 11 reps, just a body weight. Now yeah, we've got unilateral banded rows. Three sets by 12 to 14 reps each side with a slow controlled tempo. With these, you really wanna make sure we've got good form. This is all about your back muscles, which is all about making your posture default to a nice straight posture, not those rounded shoulders. that makes the indent look worse. <sighs> really driving with our elbows back and holding that squeeze for a second, getting that slow controlled tempo that's prescribed. So now we've got the dumbbell pullover. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I love the dumbbell pullover. A cool feature in the app is you can actually press the exercise and it will take you to my tutorial video personally of me doing it. The app is asking for three sets of eight to 10 reps with a slow controlled tempo. The dumbbell pullover, as you guys know, such good exercise for pectus. One of the main reasons is because it works your chest and your back at the same time and also your core a little bit in the way I do it where we're not lying on the bench, but we're lying across it just with our shoulders on it. So you get core, back and chest, which is really rare to have, have all of them being hit in one exercise. And they're like the three key muscle groups for pectus. So getting a little bit of chest in the back day is nice too. So when I come up, I, I hold my elbows tight and that's what engage, engages the chest in the dumbbell pullover. So um, yeah guys, great exercise. In my program, I, I, I do a lot of exercises where we're training multiple muscle groups. So for example, like, the way I was doing those standing uh, unilateral banded rows is the unilateral and the standing element means your core and your obliques get worked as well as your back at the same time. So we're just getting more bang for your buck. Chin ups, pull ups, body weight movements like that. Your core's working as well. You know, it's big compound movements. So, you know, I, I program in a way that you're getting the most bang for your buck, which helps you get the results fast. When you're just winging it and doing your own workouts and not adding effective exercises or effective variations, you're not going to make your progress fast and optimally, and maybe not at all. So, random workouts get you random results, guys. Alrighty, so that's back down narrow to up to the core. So it's an AMRAP on the knee raises and then 10 to 20 reps on the alternating V ups and um, three rounds of that. So right, now it's time for the legs. So we just got three sets, 20 reps of them on dumbbell walking lunges and then 20 reps on dumbbell front squat. All right, now we've got some hammer curls to finish off with a bit of a bicep pump. So I add arm stuff at the end of the workout, so it's optional. Obviously it's not really gonna help with pectus, but just having an aesthetic physique and a good body is what most of you want and you wanna feel confident in your body. So adding some arms is only gonna help. That's it for the workout today, guys. I hope you liked it. If you wanna jump on the program too, then link's in the description.